Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Pisces. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And you can say that this is for the next seven days, but then again, the timing is fluid. This reading may or may not be for you, so let's just see what comes up. What do we have for Pisces? Ooh, bread. Period of prosperity and abundance. So you're going to be seeing a period of prosperity and abundance. Bull. Could be dealing with a Taurus. Do not back down from opposition. Show strength and fortitude. So you are probably going to be dealing with some opposition. What a mess. I feel like you're going, you must, and it's interesting, I do feel like you're going through a messy situation. Uh, there's some sort of mess that you're going through right now. Um, I just had four more cards fall out, so I'm just going to go ahead and take them. Mountain Road. You are on the road to success. You're on the road to success. It looks like it's steep, though, so it might be a minute. Carrot opportunity or windfall so some of you are going to be getting an opportunity or a windfall something about money here moon which represents you changes in your life so this this full moon is going to bring positive changes to your life um i know that there is there's there's a change i think it's a big one i think it's a very 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 big change um Dark woman. There's a woman here that has dark hair or dark complexion. Dealings or relationship with a with a dark with a woman with dark complexion or hair. So this dark, either dark haired woman or whatever it is, this one's going to be helping you with your abundance, with your money. You're on the road to success. You're going to be going down the road with this woman. Whoever this woman is, there's going to be positive changes in your life right next to that bull. So I don't know, it must be, a, for some of you it's, I don't know who it is. Could be a Taurus. Um, could also be another, I don't know, I, I think it is a Taurus. Somebody that's very got money, with somebody that has money. Hmm. What do we have, Pisces? You're on the road. You're going to be, and maybe this has to do with travel. Maybe you're going to be traveling, cooking maybe, maybe even baking with that bread. We have carrots, we have vegetables. <laughs> I don't know, interesting. Uh, so something that is about to be, uh, it's like sprouted. It's like it's sprouted. Now it's time to pick. It's picking time. It's harvest time. rewards receiving some sort of rewards for something making it through this making it through whatever it is that you had to make it through oh. rejection is god's protection so i'm wondering if you're being rejected if you are being rejected you're going to be going down a path that leads to success consider it a blessing Consider it a blessing because we have somebody here that's going to be helping you. This is somebody with either a dark complexion or dark hair. Rejection is God's protection. You're going to start to see some changes in your life. I think it's going to happen right around this full moon, which is today. Mm. Stiff competition. There's some stiff competition here. Sorry, that's one of my little babies. <laughs> Wanting to come in, but I'm not going to let her. New sexual partner. Some of you have a new sexual partner here. All right. Something is going on. Act now, think later. Act now. This leads to prosperity. I... She really wants to come in because I baby her so much. What 
deck shall I use? She's like, Mama, let me in. <laughs> what you don't see coming is success. Some of you are dealing with somebody that is independently successful. Successful. This is a business owner, somebody that has worked really hard to obtain success. This is uh, focusing on the future, leaving the past behind. Some of you are gonna be leaving the past behind, going in a new direction, focusing on yourself. This is about self-worth. So you may be deciding to focus on yourself. Um, Nine, what you don't see coming is abundance. This is abundance. Some of you may be becoming single or you're going to be getting together with somebody that is very, very independently successful. This is independent success. This is hard work paying off. So either some of you, you know, maybe you've been in a heartbreaking situation where there's been a lot of suffering. There could be some freedom from that. Freedom from suffering. There could be a windfall, definitely, that is coming. Or you're getting together with somebody that is abundant. There's abundant. This is an abundant person. Um, somebody that is enjoying their life. Or it could be you enjoying your life, you know, and uh, bringing in some sort of abundance. Some of you may be starting your own business. Or you could be working with this dark woman starting a business. Something about a business. I don't know what this business is. Feels like there's a business here. Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords. This is suffering. But this is the end of suffering, right? This is the death of a situation. So something may be coming to an end. It's interesting that we have rejection as God's protection. So you, something may be coming to an end. This is a breakdown. It is a mental or physical collapse. There's you know, defeated. If somebody may have done something, you know, it's the straw that breaks the camel's back or they just give up. You know, this is this is being stabbed, being betrayed. This is the end. Okay, so this is the death of a situation. So something is definitely coming to an end. <clears throat> Four of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles is about stability, security. Um, something you were holding on to is coming to an end. Something that made you feel secure is coming to an end. But I feel like you're about to receive something even better. Whew, sun card reversed. Seven of Cups reversed. Fool reversed. Nine of Pentacles reversed. Queen of Pentacles reversed. Queen of Wands reversed. We have judgment on the bottom. What you don't see is a life-changing event, a life-changing decision. Things are about to change, okay? This is the end of things. So there is something big. It's something big. It's the end of a trial, okay? That's when judgment is made, at the end of the trial. This is a decision. It is a major decision. This is a card of forgiveness. It's a card of acceptance. It's a card of release. So you're going to be releasing something. This is the end. It's the end of something. Definitely with the Ten of Swords as well. Some sort of truth is about to be revealed. Something to do with money. I feel like it has to do with money or it has to do with something that you were holding on to. It may have something to do with a business. Um, I do feel like there's, uh, for some of you, I don't know if there's a same-sex relationship here. It doesn't have to be, but it could be. I feel like there's, well, there's definitely, or there could be a third-party situation. There's two women. There's another woman. There's another woman here. Um, there's two women. There's two women. There's another woman here. Um, I feel like we have, that whatever it has to do with, something's going to be revealed about this other woman. Um, there's another option. Somebody has been exploring their options. They're making a choice. They're making a clear choice. I feel like they're making a sudden decision. They're going in a different direction. Very, very spur of the moment. I feel like there's unhappiness. There's no growth. Sun card reverse. This is a poor health, ill health. Um, false impressions. Loneliness due to disillusionment. Holding on for financial reasons. Uh, making a clear choice. Seeing very clearly what the best option is. Stepping into new territory with blind faith. Uh, 
somebody is is letting go. They're letting go of something that they've been holding on to for dear life because it was financially stable. It was stable. It was safe. They're letting it go. Um, must take action. Must take action right now. Got to take action right now. This isn't. This isn't. Uh, Stable. There could be some disloyalty here as well. Somebody hasn't been loyal. They haven't been able to control themselves. They can't control their urges. Um, I feel like there's there's somebody that is has missed an opportunity. They've they've let fear get in the way. There's going to be sudden change. This is the final verdict. It's finally over. This is a final. It's final. It's final. So there's this is. Um, a life-changing decision this is the end of things end of an unhappy situation where there's been a lot of uh, confusion there's been a lot of disharmony there's probably been uh, I feel like there's gossip as well I feel like there's somebody here that is uh, going to be causing you some problems I don't know if it's this other woman or whoever it is this person may be malicious she may be uh, vindictive so I feel like there is somebody here that is vindictive that is maybe throwing a little fit throwing a big fit you know doing something like that um, I also feel like for some of you you're dealing with a fire sign Aries Leo Sagittarius or Taurus Virgo Capricorn or both um, I feel like we have a very unhappy camper here I feel like uh, somebody is making a decision it's a big one they're not happy with their current circumstances um, there's been a uh, low confidence. I feel like there's been some sort of lack of confidence, lack of self-esteem. It's like a lack of drive. We have somebody here that is overpowering, that is forceful, that has uh, made somebody feel like they're not adequate. You know, they've put them down. They've been really mean, mean-spirited. Uh, Lazy, selfish, insecure, uh, jealous. There's jealousy issues here. There's there's problems, uh, problems with money, fighting over money, uh, financial insecurity, not having enough, fighting over that. But it's all coming to an end. Somebody's been staying and holding on to the partnership just for the stability of it, just for the money of it. There is there is another woman here. I feel like there's going to be a reunion with this other woman. Could be a past life situation. Maybe it's a past life connection with that judgment card. Somebody may be reuniting with somebody that they were with in a past life. There is definitely stiff competition here. Uh, there is going to be a rejection. Somebody, this is a life-changing decision. It is the end of things. You're going to be going down a new road. You're going to be going down a new path. There's going to be a major change in your life. There is a woman with dark hair or dark complexion that is involved. Could definitely be a Taurus with that bowl card right next to it. And you have Taurus Virgo Capricorn here. Over here with the Queen of Pentacles. There's somebody here that is, uh, could even be a cusp. You may have a cusp person here, Aries, Taurus, um, Leo, Virgo, Sagittarius, Capricorn. Um, anyhow, we have somebody here that has some unfinished business. I feel like they have some unfinished business. They made a poor judgment call. You know, they may have missed an opportunity. Now they're going to take the opportunity. They want the opportunity. They, they could be starting over, starting over from scratch. Could be very spontaneous, going in another direction. There is abundance that is coming with this rejection, whatever it is. There is a rejection here. I mean, I can't, I can't get rid of that card. It's in, in, there's a need to allow it, accept it. Okay, that's allow, accept, to let it go. There's also karma here. There's somebody here that is ready to be judged. They're ready. They're ready to be held accountable. They're ready. They, they want a new life. You know, they're ready. They're ready to release. 
So I do believe that we have somebody here that is making a life-changing decision. This is the end. It is the end of things. It's the end of a trial. Trial period over. This trial period is over. That's what I just heard. Must take action. Must take action. This is not stable. It's not secure. It's not exciting. There's no passion. There's no commitment. There's no stability here. There's no financial stability here. It's not growing. There's no nurturing. There's. I don't even know if there's any, you know, I mean, the attraction. I mean, there might not even be any, I mean, I hate to be honest, but there might not even be any sex. But, you know, I mean, I feel like there's another option. Somebody is exploring their other options and they, they're choosing another option with the Seven of Cups reversed. We have relationship issues with the Sun reversed. Okay, that's relationship problems. This is not happy. It's not bliss. It's not joyful. It's dark. Somebody has been in a dark situation. The first card out is the Ten of Swords. That is the death of a situation. Okay, it's over. It's done. It's done. It's over. Going down a new path with this... I don't know, dark woman, dark haired woman, you know, that brings prosperity into your life. Good luck.